I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Diddly diddly, there they are, all standing in a <clears throat> Oh, hi there. I didn't see you, you sly little monkey, you. I wasn't expecting you here today. But now that you're here, why not show you a little trick that can help you along the way in the future? If you've ever had the desire to be able to strip paint off a kit that you or someone else already painted to redo it again, it's pretty simple. This is just a little trick I use. There are many other ways to strip paint, but this is what works for me. First off, you need a good degreaser to loosen up the paint. Not exactly to take it off, but just to soak it enough for you to be able to work with the rest with minor issues. I use purple power. You can also use simple green. Although I wouldn't recommend OxyClean because it doesn't have the same effect for some reason. So you take your pieces and dunk them in a bath of purple power. Now purple power is concentrated, so you have to choose to use it straight from the container or mix it one to one with water. The difference between the two operations is that you will only need one or two days of soaking, contrary to the mix ratio where you will need to leave it for at least two to three days. When you come back, just test how strong the paint is still adhered to the surface. If you can easily scrape it off with your finger, then it's ready. Try to scrub it the best that you can with a toothbrush, just like you do when you clean a kit for the first time. After that, you can take some isopropyl alcohol and start rubbing it all over the surface with a cloth and then you can brush it with a generous amount of alcohol. It depends a lot on the paint that was used on the kit. If it's acrylic, it should come off easily. If it's lacquer, you'll need to get some lacquer thinner if alcohol doesn't work, because I have been able to remove lacquer paint with alcohol before. And if it was painted with enamels, then you'll need enamel thinner because alcohol won't even tickle it. Once you're done with the larger pieces, you take the smaller ones and dunk them in alcohol for a few moments. You'll see that the paint starts to come straight off and all you need to do is just take your brush and rinse it. If you're doing this with lacquer or enamel thinner, please be extremely careful and use gloves to avoid skin irritation or something worse like chemical burns. There will be some areas that will still remain tainted with the color that was used to cover the surface, but it will be minimal and it will be easily covered with primer later on. For the most part, you'll end up with a very clean kit to start over again. I hope this will help you guys out. I know of other colleagues that use brake fluid, acetone, and other dangerous chemicals to strip paint. I don't really recommend that if you see it applied in a different tutorial from someone else, but if you do, please be extremely careful because that could be your life you're playing with if something goes wrong. If you have a different way of stripping paint, I would love to read about it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Remember that you can always sub if you haven't, mainly so you can get instant notifications when a new video goes live. You can also watch my previous video here and check out my Patreon site for exclusive content. Until next time, my resin monkeys.